um, yeah, so I do have water powered generators. I also have a quantum powered uh, gas. It's a gasoline generator, but I never have to turn the valve on. It's, uh, <laughs> it, you know, the gasoline valve is off. So the gasoline, I have had it for about a year. And if you open up the lid and look in there, it's about the same. The gauge doesn't work. It's a brand new one, but the gauge didn't work brand new. But uh, I've never opened the, I opened the valve a couple times when I was first tuning it in. But we do teach that also. It's it's uh, it's like the Joe Cell technology. Um, you basically don't need an electrolyzer on it, uh, except for getting it started. When you first when you're polarizing the aluminum of the engine, you will need an electrolyzer. But you can use a regular electrolyzer for that, and it works fine. You don't have to do a fancy Joe type electrolyzer, Joe Cell. If, if anybody's familiar with that technology, uh, it's it's an interesting technology. Um, it, but you know, Joe did learn it from us, but that was years and years ago. Of course, he learned it. From, I'm sure a lot of it is the Holy Spirit. He's he's a very good mechanic, and uh, I'd say a very good engineer too, and a man of God. And uh, so interesting stuff for sure. Uh, that's the famous Joe from Australia. I used to know his last name, but uh, I slipped my mind. But uh, Joe from Australia, yeah, he's got. He had videos online you could watch engines running without anything hooked up. All really, I mean, it might be a. Some of them had electrolyzer, but some of them didn't, and uh, and they'd still run. And uh, you know, the gasoline line disconnected and everything else. So yeah, you can. The best way, in my opinion, the simplest way is to polarize the engine. And we do teach that as part of the water power classes. Uh, and there's three ways we teach you how to how to make how to run engines on water. And one of them does not it only requires an electrolyzer when you're first polarizing the engine. After that, you do not need an electrolyzer anymore. And so uh, that I have one like that here, and maybe I'll demo it one of these days on this program, but it'll run for, for hours and hours and hours, uh, you start, you know, you know, it's electric start or hand crank, which is either way, and uh, it's 10 kW. And I use it for welding uh, because the welding puts a lot of load real fast on everything else, and it's not that good for quantum systems, in my opinion. I mean, it can be done. I did it for many years, but I, I prefer, it's also a little more mobile, this this generator. Uh, it's, you know, you can take it, you know, further away if you're working on something else, you know, and uh, anyway, so this generator, you know, it, it makes a lot of noise, like it's running on gasoline, but there's no gasoline fumes at all. You can put your nose right by the, and the valve is off all the time. You put your nose right by the exhaust and breathe in as much as you want. It just kind of smells like humid air, and that's huh. about it. There's no, almost nothing for gasoline or, you know, I'm sure it's leaking a tiny bit of oil, but I've never, I've never uh, had to add oil at all, so. Wow. Yeah, so that one that that's totally doable, and it's not that hard to do. You know, once you get good at it. So we do teach all those types of classes. So water for fuel, and even you know water only one time. Once you get the engine polarized, it seems to always produce enough uh, polarity. Uh, you know, as it, just I don't run it every day. If you ran it 24/7, I'm pretty sure you'd have to keep the electrolyzer hooked up. But you wouldn't necessarily need any HHO. It it you literally plug it in. To a fitting, you find a fitting on the engine. There's a lot of these little stubs that stick out. I don't know what you call them, but they they look like a place you'd plug a hose, but there's nothing there other than other than aluminum. In other words, it's just an aluminum stub sticking out, uh, and uh, you just plug your hose there and you check it. So it's you want it leaking just a little bit. You want little one little bubble every five seconds or something like that. And uh, and then you leave that on one night. That's it. That's all it is. One night. And most engines are polarized. After that, you don't need to turn the valve on to start it. You, can, you leave the gasoline wow. valve off. And so if your gasoline's half full, it'll stay half full for years. Uh, and, and you never use the gasoline. But I think technically maybe a tiny bit of gasoline is getting past the valve, but we're talking just a few molecules is what I think is happening. And and the HHO has polarized the engine is what I, you know, those two factors uh, the dominant energy has polarized the engine. Those two factors uh, continue. If you, because I've noticed if you run them, if you start running them hour after hour after hour after hour after hour. I'd say within two or three days, it will it will it will die and it won't it won't it won't start unless you give it gasoline. You have to open the valve and it won't start. Otherwise, it won't start back up properly. It might start and then die again. You know, three or four times for five or ten minutes. So, yeah. So, but if you only run it, you know, uh, for a few hours welding. You know, twice a week or three times a week or every day, it's no problem. But if you if you try to run it 24/7, uh, you're going to have to use keep an electrolyzer on the thing uh, all the time. So anyway, it's interesting technology yeah. for sure. It, That's amazing. Uh, you know, uh, I I haven't seen the Jocel uh, 
uh, demonstrations, you know, those those are older videos. They used to be on YouTube and such a number of years ago. In fact, we played some of them. I mean, we had them on the program. But uh, I haven't heard of any of that stuff lately. I kind of wonder if it sort of disappeared off the Internet. It probably was. Scrub by the CIA. CIA, men in black visited Joe and threatened him and all this stuff, you know. So they, he's gone quiet, you know, kind of quiet. But, you know, still some people know him. And, you know, one, one, of, our, uh, one of our dear brothers that I've known for years and years and years, uh, he's a good friend to Joe. And so, uh, yeah, there's still some stuff going on there, but Joe keeps it pretty quiet. And uh, but it's it's a great technology. And uh, again, we have all of our all of our manufacturers, which we have over 200 now, no problems with government, except for two guys that did exactly opposite everything I taught them. We teach the business end of it as well as the technology end of it. And two guys did the business end exactly opposite what I told them. And they both had problems, which you can expect that if you do things exactly opposite, you're going to have problems. <laughs> <laughs> And Stan Myers is a classic case, whereas Steve Myers, his twin brother, worked for many years in free energy and uh, was quite successful. And nobody talks about him. They all talk about Stan. Right. Uh, both took classes at the same time. They both learned the same stuff. The difference is one of them decided to uh, do it his way. He knew more about business than we did. And the other one uh, listened to us and did it, did it the way we taught him. And so one of them was quite successful and the other was... Uh, died at a younger age, you know, I don't know, he's probably in his 40s, but uh, that was Stan. So, yeah, so, now, thank God they don't kill people anymore, and not that I've heard of, uh, but they do, they get, do make life, you know, challenging for you if you if you do things opposite of what we teach. So, you got to do it the way we teach, and you won't have, well, so far, you're not 200, no problems. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of this type of stuff, uh, 